You said before in interviews that you always find them quite awkward because the elephant in the room is that there is a product of some kind to be sold to the public, whether it's a DVD, a film, or in this case, a book. Yeah. Are you feeling awkward now? I mean, I often feel awkward um, in life, so interviews have become a subset of my existence. It would be sociopathic to it to be a regular thing for you to do, an interview. Um, I always feel instantly that this is a strange dynamic. I should be asking how you are, how's your journey, are you all right? The um, one-sidedness of it seems um, against every part of one's upbringing. I mean, in conversation, you would have interrupted me by now. You've gone, what are you talking about? You're going on. Um, Maybe I will, hang on. Yeah, I hope you do. A lot of the roles that you found in comedy have been playing geeks. So Nathan Barley, IT crowd, now Gadget Man as well. Why do you think it's happened that way for you? You know, I suppose there's an element of I'm unlikely to be cast as a Robert Redford type and there's an overlap between my um, lack of social <laughs> presence and, and, and being geeky in some way. And the audience slightly decides who you are, you know, what you're able to play. So now does that restrict you a little bit? No, I mean, I'm lucky to have acted at all, given my limited range. And I um, mainly wanted to be a writer, and I've been able to do that, and I, I'm grateful to do that. And, yeah, I don't sit here thinking, God, I wish I could be Macbeth, but they just won't let me. I suppose to a certain extent we're all geeks now because modern technology has taken over our lives. You're a similar age to me, so you remember the time before the internet. Yeah. Do you find it strange now when you meet people who've haven't known the time before the internet? I tend not to meet people, really. Um, I'm more interested in how um, angry older people are about what they feel they're missing out on. That I, I find that funny. How obsessed middle-aged people are with Tinder and things like that, as if they're going, well, if only I had it, I would have cleaned up. And you go, oh, I don't really know that that would have happened. So in the book A Waddy on A Waddy, it sounds like it's going to be some kind of autobiography of insights into the real you. There's a sort of journalist character who's me and a film director who's me. How much of the real Richard A Waddy is in this book? It's a joke book about film. It bears as much relationship to me as probably being John Malkovich does to John Malkovich. But just when you're about to meet Richard A Waddy, you say, to many he's a tallish, unfit man who isn't funny. From a failed and short-lived career as a stand-up, to his failed and short-lived career as a sitcom actor, to his failing career as a film writer-director, he disappoints with unparalleled consistency. Because I have directed a couple of films, and because I had the experience of going through a number of interviews and things, what occurs to you is, well, what's the worst thing I could say in this situation? What would be the most outrageous? And you never say it, but you start to think, what could I do with a kind of comic version of this situation? The interview format is often funny. That, that dynamic, that kind of hostility and um, passive aggressiveness or leading questions or answers just seemed like a good format for a book.